Can AI create an engaging lesson plan? Yes, it can. So let's dive in on how chat GPT can create an engaging lesson plan for your classroom, regardless of your subject, any subject you teach in the classroom, except one. I can't guarantee you some of those languages like Yoruba language, Igbo language and more. But let's talk about English for now. Then from there, we now ask AI some possibilities of whether it can teach us Hausa languages uh, a lot of more. So um, we can also be curious to also send feedback. And um, I'm sure at the end of the day, this can also make them to um, add a lot of content to it. So um, we go to ChatGBT and um, uh, create a lesson plan on the topic um let me look for one Topic um, noun and pronoun for elementary school. Okay, and um, okay, so with this, let's see elementary school. Let's see what can happen. Here's the lesson plan for noun and pronoun for elementary school. Uh, lesson objective, student to be able to identify the use of noun and pronoun correctly in sentence, okay? Uh, materials needed, uh, whiteboard and blackboard. Marker and chalk, okay, it's already bringing in instructional materials, direct instruction, show the student the handouts with example of pronoun, you know. Uh, review the answers as as the class discussing any mistake and correcting them um, guide practice um, give the student a list of words and give them you classify them as now or more um, these are actually very nice I'm liking what I'm seeing over here um, assessments so oh, I think my network is bad I remember to refresh immediately if your network is bad they are even they are already telling us and um, yeah, copy you can edit over here let me see whether i can um you can edit if i edit i can save and submit and it's to, to still for primary school i change it to primary school let's see maybe the network is bad for elementary school um writing the objective again and many other things so this is not actually bad at all warm up try the following words on the board cat ball okay now it's even teaching you how to even teach the children in the classroom you know it is it is an instructional material also this can even guide your lesson plan and um, and more direct instruction the cat is sleeping she's tired he is playing with the ball. My teacher is nice. I'm going to school. Ask the student to identify the noun in each of the sentence. Oh, this is nice. Guided practice and a lot of more independent practice. And what you just need to do is to rewrite this. Please don't just use this immediately. Don't use this like that in the classroom. Make sure you add your taste of creativity. And your, uh, your, your assessment should be um, very different. And you can also regenerate. You can regenerate if you don't like the answer. And you, um, you can still ask more questions. Um, can you relate this 
into African context, can this be related, related into the African uh, classroom? Okay, let's see in terms of African classroom, you know, um, sometimes you can just just be asking question. That is what this chat is all about. Now, please note something. Um, if you are chatting like this now, this is all about my lesson plan tab. So that means I will not open another tab again for lesson plan. Yes. Use example of noun and pronoun that are specific to your student, culture or religion. For example, you could use the names of local animal foods. It's even telling you now, this is where originality is actually coming in right now. You see, I'm, I'm now bringing it into the context of Africa and more in the classroom. So as much as possible, make your lesson plan um, something something that is, uh, that, that, that is engaging. Can this be done in tabular form? Let's see. Um, create a lesson plan in tabula form on the topic now let's see whether it's going to create it in tabular form i've not tried this before sure not actually doing that um, because it's not doing this arranging let me write arranging roll and column in form of table let me do that yes yeah, I think it's already arranging some of them in tabular form a lot of more okay yeah this is not bad this is not bad so um endless possibilities through the use of chat gpt in the classroom and um, i'm definitely sure that as i'm doing this you are already thinking of how to integrate this into your classroom practice and um, definitely remember to add originality your creativity is needed ai is just to guide you and as i said before this is a tool to guide us not a tool to work for us so let this guide you don't let this work for you in the classroom so this can guide you to create more and it can be an added value to your creativity and more um, i have a few students to share their sentence with the classroom <laughs> this chat gpt is going to let me let me create or arrange arrange in row and column in form of let me say uh, maybe it's going to do that as a mean of um tabula form it's still going to be the same thing so this is chat tbt i'm sorry i'm not sure you're asking me the let me to arrange it. could you please provide more context yeah it's going to be asking a lot of questions so it is a chat definitely you have benefited a lot from this so definitely we move to the next one remember to watch my next video ask more questions ask me the next thing for me to create and if you are curious you can also create more for me also why it helped me in creating more videos thank you very much remember to subscribe to the channel bye